Hello Hungry Fam and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to recreate three of my favorite dishes from KFC and check if I can make it better at home. Before starting the video, like, share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all the post notifications. I get a lot of questions asking why do I only make vegetarian dishes? The answer is very simple. No, I'm not a vegetarian, but most of the viewers are. So, I like to make videos what you guys like to see and I understand it's not fair for the non-veg lovers. So, today we are going to make Kentucky fried chicken. To all the vegetarians out there, do not worry. I have a recipe for you all as well. So, if you're not comfortable watching chicken or non-veg recipes, you can skip to this timestamp. Now let's get started with our first recipe. These are the ingredients for the marination of chicken. First, make few holes using a fork. This will soak all the marination till inside. I'm using leg piece for hot and crispy chicken and boneless thigh piece for the Zynga burger. In a bowl, I have 250 ml of buttermilk that is chas. To that, add 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste, 1 teaspoon soy sauce, 1 teaspoon mixed herbs, 2 tablespoon chili powder, 1 teaspoon black pepper powder and 1 teaspoon salt. Whisk it all together, add all the chicken in the marination. This is approximately 1 kg chicken. Cover it with a clean wrap and let it marinate for 2 to 3 hours. I kept it in the refrigerator for overnight. You can let it marinate for as long as you like. These are all the ingredients you will need for making hot and crispy chicken. In a bowl, I have 2 cups of all-purpose flour. To that, add 1 fourth cup of corn flour, 2 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon each of crunchy garlic, onion powder and garlic powder, 1 teaspoon salt and black pepper powder. Mix it. This becomes our dry coating. Since we didn't use chicken with skin, we have to replicate the texture. So for that, remove the drumstick and add it into the dry mix which will become a first skin coating. Once you coat all the chicken in the remaining marination, add 1 cup of dry mix we made and 1 beaten egg. Whisk it all together and dip the coated chicken leg piece and again coat it with the dry mix. I know it looks complicated but we are just double coating the chicken to make it extra crispy. You can skip this extra step and give a single coating which I generally prefer. Dust off the excess flour and add it into hot oil. Cook the chicken for 8 to 10 minutes. First 2 minutes on high flame and then on very low flame. Remove it on a wire rack. Don't use paper towel or else the chicken will become soggy. Enjoy them hot. I also made with single coating and they turned out amazing as well. Now let's taste the KFC's hot and crispy chicken. I actually specially mentioned that I wanted the leg piece. But I think they have not given the leg piece and the rest of the pieces are there. But it's fine, let's taste it. I don't know if you could hear the crunch but it's still crispy and it's been about an hour that the parcel arrived so that's a plus point there and about the taste it tastes really good it's the typical KFC flavor just the problem here is the middle part of the chicken it's a bit bland it's tasting like boiled chicken that's why it's a bit dry but the best part about KFC is that they serve Pepsi which is very rare nowadays so I'm going to have that now I know it's not need to taste test it but it's my favorite Now let's taste the hot and crispy chicken we made. I'm sure you definitely heard the crunch. It is super super crispy and the taste is so good. It is giving a tough competition to KFC. Uh, definitely the flavor is slightly different like the KFC has a more maggy type taste and the one we made is a bit spicier but I really like the flavor and our chicken leg piece is cooked throughout which is why it is very juicy and moist from the inside and super crispy from the outside. I'm going to rate this recreation a solid 9 on 10. 
These are the ingredients to make our Zynga burger. For the burger patty, marination and frying process is the same. Just use a boneless thigh piece. You can also use the boneless breast piece. Just cook it for less time since it becomes dry very fast. For the assembly, I've toasted burger bun from one side. Add one teaspoon mayo. Place any lettuce over it. Keep the fried patty. Apply mayo on the top bun as well. Cover and serve while it's hot. Let's taste the classic Zinger burger. The burger is extremely dry. I don't know why they changed their burger buns. Like the topping has khuskas that is poppy seeds, which is not at all going with the chicken burger. And they hardly added any sauce or even the lettuce is very less. Uh, it's very bland for my liking. Zinger burger used to be my favorite back then, but it's been ages I've had it. So maybe change kar diya rahega. But I created the way I liked it. So let's taste that one. The taste is way, way better. It is very crispy, spicy, saucy as well. Though I'm not a huge fan of mayo, but in this, it goes perfectly well with the crispy chicken. We don't add much vegetables to it because the chicken is already crispy. Oh, I really love this one as well, but I'll rate it a 8 on 10. These are all the ingredients for making veg strips. In a bowl, I have three medium-sized boiled potatoes. To that, add one tablespoon onion, one fourth cup each of boiled carrot, green peas and corn. Add one teaspoon garlic, one teaspoon green chilli and one tablespoon red chilli powder. Half teaspoon each of black pepper powder and salt. Mix it all together. and transfer it into any square shaped container. Line it with clean wrap, flatten the mixture, cover with clean wrap and let it set for 2-3 to three hours. Since we don't add any binding, we have to freeze the mixture and then coat it. Now remove the set mixture on a chopping board. Cut it into finger size. Since I flattened the mixture way too much, the strips were breaking, so I'm going to roll it into a cylindrical shape and again freeze them for 10 minutes. Till then, let's make the crumb coat. Add half cup of breadcrumbs, half cup crushed cornflakes, 1 4 teaspoon each of salt and black pepper powder. Mix it all together. Now dip the frozen strip in corn flour slurry and coat it with the crumbs we made. I'm going to double fry again for the extra crunch. Deep fry till they are nice and golden brown. Serve it hot and enjoy with any sauce you like. Now let's taste the KFC's veg strips. I think they changed the name to veg patty, but shape abhi bhi same hai, so we'll call it strips only. Uh, by the looks, the filling is very less, but it's fine. Let's taste it. Though the filling is very less, the taste is good. Uh, it's cold, but that's completely my fault. But it's a bit raw from the middle. Obviously, they use frozen strips, but it's fine. The taste is what matters and it's really good. Let's taste the one we made. You can clearly see corn, carrot and peas in one bite. So that's great. It's very crispy. The taste is really good. It is very, very similar to the KFC's veg strip. Except for the shape and the filling, it is completely ditto. I think I did a pretty good job here and I'm going to rate this recreation a 10 on 10. KFC costed me around 620 rupees, which included 2 pieces hot and crispy chicken, 4 pieces of veg strips and 1 zinger burger. 
it's slightly expensive and the one which i made at home costed me only 200 rupees and there's a 400 gap and it was more tastier i feel so today definitely our homemade recipes have won so do give them a try and let me know your feedback today's shout out goes to diksha purohit rajendra pimpre and ananda rahman if you want to shout out all you have to do is subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram and comment on this video tell me that you have Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more amazing videos. Also a lot of you who watch the videos that is 74% of you haven't subscribed to our channel so please do it means a lot to us.